Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 40's World where we do celebrity news and entertainment. Alright, now that is my question right there or my statement I should say. The lies, the lies, the lies. Okay. And make sure y'all share my story. Share my videos out for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Share, share, share my videos and like them as well. But we're going to be talking about Candy Burris. And we ain't going to mention Todd too much because he's pretty much the subject of conversation as well. Now, as y'all know, back sometime, I think it was this month. I don't think it was last month. You know, YouTubers get on stories we are like like-minded spirits in a sense we see what another person is saying about a subject and we go with it and put our own spin on it but try to connect what we feel is the truth or the meat and potatoes that they're giving us and then you have to ascertain by doing your own research to, to pretty much showcase if that was a true statement from that particular person or not well if y'all don't mind because you know if i like another uh, cohort or another YouTuber, I always tell you, go and watch them. If you get a kiki off of me, you'll probably get a kiki off of them. Because I don't watch everybody, but certain people that I do watch that make me laugh or make me have a light bulb type of idea, I'll be like, okay, okay, okay. We can do that. Let me go on over there. But his name is Hus. Well, his YouTube ch channel is called Hustler and Housewives. Okay, I think that comes from a movie, and he just encapsulated it on his show and called his show that. But anyway, I like him. He has some uh, quite a few videos out there. Uh, I think he is a, a newcomer, but I'm not really sure. But go check it out if you want to see what I'm talking about, because it's pretty much on his platform and I don't like using other people's materials without their permission. So I am not going to play anything and I'm not going to show anything, but if you go to YouTube and you type in Hustler and Housewives, it should be a black gentleman come up with a bald head and a white shirt. Okay, that's his uh, avatar or his picture on his uh, account. But also tell him, Dale Snell's 48th World sent him sent him some Kim folks over there. I call y'all family. He call y'all Kim Kim folk. But I sent some family to view if they wanted to. I suggested some of my family go over there and watch him if they like me. Uh, I'm not saying we have similar tastes, but like I said, I like the fact he called his folks Kim folks, and I call you all family. Okay, but anyway, he has a video of saying something to the fact that Todd was out there cheating on Candy and some of Candy's camp didn't like it and she was having some issues too. Now all this is allegedly. He says it's allegedly. It was wrong but we, we wanted to see if it was going to come to fruition with the upcoming season for 14. Um, It says the, t the video is titled Todd and Candy's big fight. What really happened? Okay, so that's y'all going over there and check out that video, and you can decide if you want to subscribe to him or not. Okay, uh, I'm just giving you other YouTubers to look at other than myself, if you want to laugh or whatever. But anyway, he goes on and to say into that video that I just told y'all to go to on his channel, um, that they're having a hard time finding stuff to tape. And that came across as a interesting point if what they had for the OLG coming um, on the show with them coming back and them focusing on the restaurant and the um, problems they're having there and they're showcasing the staff and it's going to be centered around uh, Todd and Candy and the OLG ladies, uh, which are her mother and her aunts. Uh, in the restaurant and what's going on not necessarily saying that they're doing a bad job because they're just the spokespeople um they ain't really up in there cooking she hired folks to do that but they're using uh her family's recipes to serve the public at large so basically what she was saying was she actually came on his platform under his comment section and said that what he was putting out there wasn't true her and todd are not having problems 
and it's not a big fight they're gonna be showing i guess on the show and you know she gave him kudos about uh i guess she watches him i guess i'm i'm, I'm just speculating because i'm not sure but she was on his comment section or an account that seems like it was candy burris's account um candy online or something like that and she was saying that what he was saying in the video it wasn't true she thought it was hilarious and this that and the third okay very cute very professional move it on now my thing is okay if we don't get no good footage just like his sources meaning hustler um and housewives was saying that they might use a storyline of candy and her husband into it about uh, an affair he's having behind her back and i was like I'm questioning myself because I'm like when couples come out and they tell you that such as Candace she's a well-known person to say she's bisexual she likes women sometimes and she likes her husband okay so she partakes of both genders not a big deal I ain't even worried about it how she floats she goes whatever she loves she strolls okay and just as long as todd is in you know the loop with it i guess he's fine with it as well okay sometimes he might want to partake uh in the latest pool as well as well as his late his a uh, wife's pool if you get me drill but anyway to me it's an open relationship so i'm like if he cheats i guess he's cheating without her participating or looking or whatever and that may be the cheating scandal uh, that this YouTuber is talking about because it was it's well known. Candy has an open relationship. She has people sign those NDA clauses where they can't say nothing or she starts setting shit down on them. And you know, she, she and I mean, if you do that and you don't want certain things told to the public in graphic detail, I guess you would need to. Uh, it would be a smart move for her to have done what she's done, which is have her clients that she participates in sexual encounters with. Uh, to sign those NDAs because mm, things do come back and you be like one of her friends over there going through some issues okay and y'all know who I'm talking about if y'all been looking at news and entertainment and all that y'all should know who exactly I'm talking about without me mentioning them but anyway I just find it very interesting and I am going to be looking uh, you know because I'm going to be doing a uh, review of, of season 14 of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, like I said, I haven't done it in a long, long time. Because it really just don't interest me because it was boring as all get out. It had no substance, no flavor, and no salt added, okay? And salt is the earth. You know, salt of the earth, it gives your food flavor. Meaning, what I was getting far as an appetizer of the Real Housewives of, of Atlanta for the last five years it has been i've been on a diet let's put it like that i've been on a diet i haven't been wanting to watch maybe i may caught a few episodes here and there but not enough to hold my attention throughout each season i mean that season or those episodes so it's gonna be very interesting because i am gonna come back and i'm gonna be like the lies the lies the lies if candy uh in fact have scenes where it is said todd is cheating on her because i'm like eh. I mean, just let it play out. You don't have to come and tell a YouTuber that they got the information wrong when, in fact, Bravo may switch it up on your behind. We might not be feeling, you know, whatever you're showing us that they taped for the season. They may go back in their vault and say, okay, we're going to use that footage where somebody had told you that Todd was fooling around on you allegedly and y'all had beef about it. Y'all had a big argument in the parking lot, in the restaurant. You know, out in the streets, okay, physically. And, you know, we just want you to be truthful. Because, you know, you don't like to be lied to. And that whole dungeon thing, you was talking about the lies, the lies, the lies. So, you know, I'm trying, trying to figure out myself. Are you lying? Are you lying? Are you lying, girl? So, I will be doing videos on you, Candy. I'm just telling you. If you don't come with the facts, if you don't come with the truth. And I'll be sitting up here one day. On a Sunday, looking at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and then I'm seeing you get on toss behind about some woman. Girl, I'm going to be like, the lies, the lies, the lies that you tell to stay on this show. But, you know, I guess it's a part of the, uh, the rumor or whatever. 
But anyway, uh, just to wrap it all up, because you know, like I said, it wasn't none of my business, but as small as it's kept a secret, I'm going to speak it out loudly. Okay. But she went on there and she made a post saying, this is hilarious. I was actually, come on now, I was actually watching, waiting to see what me and Todd was supposed to be arguing about. Sorry, but this isn't true. That was her statement. That's what she said on the Hustler and Housewives comment section. She came right on through uh, and had to figure what this person was talking about, you know. And I'm like, oh, okay. But she has her own Speak On It YouTube platform channel. And I used to watch that as well when she first brought it out. And I was doing commentary on it. If you want to go check in my archives. And... Um, be amazed <laughs> or not be amazed but yeah I just thought that was very interesting for Candy to come out and try to debunk something prior to y'all are still taping you don't know what Bravo may use on your behind okay you don't know how Bravo may uh, use you at the end when you thought you were using Bravo I mean can we go a rundown NeNe Lee, Cynthia Bailey Sheree Whitfield Kim Zosiak, all these people are OGs and gone from the show. So if they're trying to enlighten it and seems like they're trying to pull all the OGs out and get some new fresh faces in now, you might be on the chopping block. Candy, candy girl. Yes, okay. But that's all I have for this video. I'm going to be watching, I'm going to be watching, and I'm going to be recording. Okay, so hopefully Candy is telling the truth. And she's not going to make us uh, muddle through scenes of her and Todd fussing about some woman or some man or j any of that. Because like I said, Candy is very well known as the sex goddess and with the sex toys and pleasuring men and women. And um, she's bisexual, okay? And Todd is with it. So no harm, no foul. That's how I see it. I guess it's a harm and a foul if she don't know that he's doing it and she's not there to partake on it or just look at it or however they get their rocks off. You know what I'm saying? So grown folks stuff. Grown folks bedroom. And that's all I'm going to say on that subject. All right. So if you like it, love it. And you got to have more of my videos, okay? Make sure you share, 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 share my stuff. Y'all know y'all need to share my stuff. Share my stuff out, okay? And if you're inclined to do so, you can definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm not for everybody, as you can tell. But if you like what I put out there, go on. Take a chance. Go on and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. Or well, I say something you don't like. Uh, I'm not appealing, you know. It's not like you're locked in. Don't ever get that impression. But share, share, share my videos. Okay? And like them. Alright? And that's all I have. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.